Hello kids! This is Teacher Beth and welcome to our Math Fantastic! Today, we are going to talk about estimating quotient of 2 to 3 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers. So now, let's start! Let's define first estimating. When we say estimating, it is something close to the correct answer or simply say approximating. Are you ready? So let's have an example. 286 divided by 7. Normally, in the past, to estimate, we'd use rounding. But we're not going to do that in this division problem. Why? Because when we round 286 to the greatest place value, it will become 300. Then, when we divide 300 to 7, it doesn't go in easily. It is not going to be a quick problem, so we're not going to round. Instead, we will use those compatible numbers. So what is compatible numbers? These are the numbers that you can compute easily and mentally. So since we're dividing by 7, the numbers that 7 goes into easily are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and so on. So we have here this 28 and we want that to be a number that 7 can go into mentally, which we already have. So we have 28, so we can leave that, and everything after that 28 will turn into 0. So we're gonna make that 280 divided by 7, and now this is something that we can do in just a few seconds. So 28 divided by 7 is 4, with the 0 as much easier than trying to figure out 300 divided by 7, which wouldn't save us any time at all. Let's have another example. Estimate 127 divided by 4. Let's use compatible numbers. Since we are going to divide uh, by 4, the compatible numbers are 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. So we have 12 here. The closest is 12. And we're gonna leave that 12. Then the rest number will be 0, so it will become 120 divided by 4. So 120 divided by 4 is equal to 30. Now, let's try to estimate with two-digit divisor. For example, 312 divided by 31. In this division problem, First, we will round the divisor to the greatest place value. Then, we will use the compatible numbers for the given dividend in order to easily estimate it. So, let's round off 31 to the greatest place value. So, it will become 30. Then, let's use compatible numbers. Since we are going to divide by 30, the compatible numbers are 30, 60, 90, and so on. Then since 30 is the nearest compatible number for 31, we will leave that 30, then add 0 for the rest number. Then we will divide it by 30. So 300 divided by 30 is equal to 10. saying have fun and enjoy doing or working with numbers 